I think that it's about time to begin our discussion. We're here in the studio today with long-term fighters for civil rights. Some of them have joined only very recently, but perhaps just as intensely. I felt um, that there was no way for me not to be involved with um, what impressed me as being the most significant, the most important, the most loaded um, demonstration that has ever happened in this country. Uh, I became interested in the civil rights struggle out of a necessity to survive, 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 survive. The other thing is that we did produce a non-segregated march. The most loaded um, demonstration that has ever happened in this country. From all points of view, from all races and creeds and color, who can carry on not only the common struggle to achieve an effective and meaningful civil rights legislation, but who can do this practical work, the day-to-day -day job of fighting discrimination in education, in housing, in employment, in public accommodation. And I think this is the true significance of what we have started today. And uh, although the, the end is not yet, this is perhaps the beginning. And the times ahead are just as, uh, as difficult as the times behind, although in a different way. Where do we go from this beginning? Brando, have you been on this road for a long time? I don't know. There was a time when nobody was on the road, uh, really. Uh, there was a time when uh, Rosa Parks stood up in a bus in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. And from that date, uh, uh, the Montgomery bus boycott took place. And uh, some point in the 50s, 18 Negroes in the Georgia prison camp broke their legs with sledgehammers to bring attention to the uh, condition that they were in. And slowly, uh, bit by bit, I became involved in this issue, and uh, uh, I guess uh, my springboard was listening to Martin Luther King speak about the, uh, the woe and uh, distress.